everyone welcome back to rachel single hopper channel sorry my video is this way today i'm in my car and about to go to work but i had a few parcels to pick up from the delivery office basically i wasn't in at, at home when the postman came for a few days because i was at work and they had to leave it in the delivery office and you just go and collect it basically so I've got, looks like, two boxes from a Double Box Toys and one from Magic to Your Door, which is the US to UK um, kind of Disney good service I use. So I'm going to open this big one first. I think this one is my early birthday present <laughs> from my family. My birthday is next Friday, but I think it's come already. I know I really shouldn't be doing this before my birthday, but I can't wait. I literally have no willpower to wait until my birthday next week. Packaging's out. Oh. I think the big box is, yeah, it is. Yay! I don't know if you can see it properly in my car. Oh. So big. Right. I think you can see what it is. I'm going to get this box out of the way. <gasps> Literally, I couldn't wait till I got home. That's it from this box. I don't know how I'm going to throw away these boxes later on. That is massive. Oi. Throw it in the back. My first ever Dooney and Burke bag. It's not lounge fly, it's a Dooney and Burke. I've never had one before. Oh dear. <laughs> a new addiction coming along. I can actually smell the leather, oh my goodness. So, I saw this was on sale on uh, Shop Disney US. And thankfully, Double Box Toys also had like 30% off, like um, just like Shop Disney did. So rather than buying it myself off Shop Disney and using a forwarding service, I decided to use Double Box Toys. Thank you to my family. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's the Rapunzel Dooney and Burke tote. <gasps> It is massive. I can't wait to use this. This is definitely going to be used because it's like the perfect size for my laptop and stuff. Pascal! <gasps> I love it. So rather than faux leather, which is lounge fly material, this is real leather. Obviously, um, that kind of shows on the price tag. Um, I think it, I think I saw a price somewhere, like retail price. It's the Purple Rapunzel Tote, originally $298. That's kind of the pricing for most Deanies and way out of my budget. But thankfully I was able to get it on sale, so it was less than that. Thank you so much. I am going to use this so much. I love the lanterns. It is so soft. I do need all, like always this soft because that is amazing. Oh my god, I love the back. I love the bottom as well, sorry. Upside down. But it says tangled on the bottom the flower and pascal and disney on it it is so beautiful i can't wait to start using it oh <laughs> little tear and inside like it's yellow but you've got this like really nice lining kind of around the bag as well so pretty <gasps> i can't wait to start using this thank you little early birthday present for me that is amazing before i go to work i'm using my pink iridescent by the way i told you i use my bags <laughs> so that at the moment this is like my go-to kind of everyday bag so i love that one i love going to work with that 
Uh, I don't know what the time is. I think I've got like 10, 20 minutes to spare. Not much traffic today anyway. So this is another box from Double Box Toys. I think it's one of the mystery boxes. I've done another lounge fly mystery box. Just as I said that I won't do another mystery box for a while now because I spent so much on them. They decided to release one with loads of grails on it like Peter Pan, um, the Mini Main Attraction one, Tinkerbell Top Knot, like what? And then the like 2018 or 2019, the old Christmas snacks, like what? And like the pass holder bag, like this was all on this same mystery box. So if you were lucky enough to um, get one of the top prizes, you could get one of them. Like there were so many, like there was the wilderness bag from us. So many hard to find ones. So I got one and then once they added a few more grails in, I was like, you know, one more. Let's try my luck. So I think one is on the way and because I got it the next day, but one's already arrived. So I'll try to open this one. I don't know what it is. The straps are brown. It's scar. I was actually looking at this one. I mean, I don't know. I do, I do like the Lion King, but I'm not really a villains collector. So I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, guys. Do I keep it or try to trade it? Hmm. If it was Yzma, I would have kept it. But I'm not too sure about a scar. Sorry. I think it's another failed mystery box. I'll try to trade it. I've seen so many trade posts for this, though. Maybe I'll take a little loss on it. But, yeah, that's what I've got in my mystery box. Not one of the top prizes, I'm afraid. But I do have one more mystery box coming. Hopefully, it's um, one that I like. But, I mean, he's, he's such a cool bag. And he looks awesome. But it just doesn't fit in my collection. I don't really have any villains bags. I do have some villains bags on the way, but that is going to be a surprise in a later video when it actually comes. But I think it's going to be traded. I'm sorry. But that was the mystery box from Double Box Toys. If you're interested in it, please hit me up. I'd be willing to trade it for another kind of Disney princessy girly bag. Oh, right. Let's keep that in the back. Safe. Okay, that is safe until I trade it. Okay, last box. I have so many boxes today. Oh my god. Post office might, must hate me. And um, this is from Magic to Your Door. And it's the US to UK service I use. Thank you so much, Nick, who runs the service for bringing Disney magic to UK fans. I don't even know what is in here. I can't remember what I've ordered. I've ordered that much. I've, I've literally lost count. Right. They've included their invoice. So I know what it is. Okay. So it's a plush and a figurine that I asked uh, Brittany to try and get on my wish list. Super excited. Thank you, Brittany, from My Magical Disney Shopper. They also have a YouTube channel. They go to the outlets in Florida and the parks and get um, loads of really cool stuff. And they send it over to uh, Magic to Your Door. I've explained this so many times in the past videos, but if you're new here, I'll put their, all their links in the description, the services I use. The first item is Thumper. This was in the outlets, actually. It was like a last minute thing when Brittany was live. Oh, he's so cute. It's a Thumper Big Feet. <gasps> so we don't have these Big Feet plushes like in England. So the only way was from the parks and he is so cute. I love the eyes. Oh, he's so fluffy. And he was 
$7.99 in the outlets. Originally $26.99, so $27 in the park. So, like, if you're in the parks, you're getting, like, $20 off if you go to the outlets. That's amazing. So, there was Thamper. Thank you, Brittany. Yeah, he was, like, a last-minute thing. I remember when Brittany was live on her... Um, Facebook doing some outlet shopping it was like one of the last items she saw and everyone was, <laughs> went mad for them like thumper me for thumper me 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 thumper oh god sorry so everybody went crazy over the thumper and she like um her cart was already full so I really felt sorry for her trying to balance all these thumpers for everyone thank you so much Brittany and Matthew for everything you do for us they are actual real life superheroes they really are this is a figurine that I saw in one of the other outlet videos that I saw and I thought it was really pretty so I put it on my wish list and Brittany was able to get it for me she messaged me saying she has one do i still want it i was like yes please let me so let me try and open it first everything is packaged so well oh my goodness how am i going to like get rid of all these boxes i'm like in a car park i don't know if i'm going to be able to get all these boxes in the bin somewhere <laughs> Three huge boxes, right? <laughs> I'll try to sort this um, box out first. Wait a minute. I got it out. Now I need to get it out of this plus polystyrene. Let me try. like fresh i'm feeling today because normally i'm on like a really early morning shift so i have to get up at like 4 a.m to get ready and go to work but today i start at 10 i still have to like leave at like just before nine probably just to be safe but um it makes such a difference waking up at eight instead of 4 a.m oh my goodness like a normal human hour Oi. Oh my god, I've got so much like boxes and plastic in my car. I don't know what to do. I wish there was like a huge bin somewhere so I can just put it all in. You can see what it is. Oh my god. Blender. It's so much bigger than I thought. Oh, it's so pretty. I know her treasure chest with Sebastian. Oh, yes. She's sitting on a stone. She's amazing. She's so pretty. Oh my goodness. That flower is everything in flounder. Oh, thank you so much, Brittany. I love it. And oh, my God, I love it. Under the sea. <sighs> Cannot remember how much it was. So, I'm not sure how much it was for retail, but 
in the outlets it was 17.99 in dollars like that is amazing so i thought saw it on another video and i thought i need that <gasps> she's so pretty look how detailed it is literally it's a bargain even with the shopper fee it was 24.99 because there's a five dollar pickup pick pickup fee and like with customs and like delivery added onto it it's basically 25 dollars i've got it for but <sighs> amazing I wonder how much it actually retail for in the parks. Because it will be a whole lot more than $17.99. It's so pretty. That is going straight into my collection. I can't wait to put it on my shelf. She is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the paintwork. That is just aerial straight out of the film. Look at flounder as well. The details are amazing. <gasps> Sebastian. I love it. And like the texture of the scales is amazing. I love it so much. Thank you, Brittany, for being able to get that for me. Now I really need to go to work. So that was fun doing it in my car today i keep her safe in the polystyrene until i actually get her home but i hope you enjoyed that video even though it was like a portrait version today oi let's keep her safe yeah. she won't get damaged in there so i had an amazing early birthday present an amazing box Full of goodies from Magic to Your Door and my magical Disney shopper. Thank you so much. And one lounge fly mystery box from Double Box Toys. That could have gone better. Could have got one that I actually wanted. Um, even if it's not one of the top prizes, it wasn't one I wanted. So that is going to be traded. Now I am going to work. So I've got polystyrene all over me i hope you enjoyed that video please like and subscribe to my channel if you want more disney videos and i'll see you next time in another disney video see you next time everyone bye six hours later hey everyone i'm back i'm back from work and as soon as i get home this is waiting at my door like I literally just picked up three huge parcels from the post office this morning and I've got three more. I really need to be careful in May because I've got like a lesser paycheck um, than like the month previously because of the lockdown. We've only just come back. So guys, you need to tell me off if I have a haul like this in May. Literally, tell me off in the comments. I really don't mind. I need someone to just slap me because uh yeah i've just been shopping shopping and shopping shall we open these boxes i can't believe how many things i've got <sighs> let's try okay first one is from the disney store it looks like it's a new box i've never seen these kind of boxes from the disney store before i don't know if it's like a new box that they have it's not like a colouring in one but this is a little haul that I got for the new princess key I have been craving for a princess themed Disney key for ages and finally they came out with it I just got the one um I do have a US buddy but they already they got the princess key anyway so I decided to just get mine and it's so pretty. Ah, so it's got the Ultimate Princess Collection on the tag. Sorry, Ultimate Princess Celebration on the tag. 
Oh, it's so pretty. It's got like little icons of the different princesses. Oh, it's so glittery on the castle as well. How pretty is that? I'll do like a close up image um, just in case it doesn't focus. But oh, I love the pattern on the D. It's like golden and brown in the middle. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, so I'm guessing the compass, the first one is Pocahontas and then Snowflake for Anna and Elsa. The lamp for Jasmine. Uh, what's the fan? Milan? Is it Milan? What's the next one? I'm not too sure what the flower is. Let me know in the comments below because I might get confused. The shell is obviously Ariel. The bow and arrow is Merida. Apple is Snow White. And the rose is Belle. What is the next one? I can't figure it out. What is it? Can you let me know? If I let, if I find out after, um, like before I upload this video, I'll put it in the subtitles. But at first glance, I'm not too sure what that is. I thought it was like a magic carpet thing. I'm not too sure. And then what's the tiara? Aurora, probably. And then the kind of sundial, sunflower. I uh, think is Rapunzel and the midnight clock is Cinderella. Who have I missed out? At the top of my head, I can't figure out what that, the one after Belle is, but that is the princess key. So that was the main thing I got. Um, it was free with purchase. So obviously I had to buy something for the key, but um, the key was like the main thing. What I got for the key is, oh, it's so pretty. It's a Beauty and the Beast, Rose, the dome, and it's got like glitter inside. It's a pin. I love the backing card on that. It's super cute. And it's like a 3D one as well. So it's actually like a dome. So that was a pin. That was nine pounds. And then to qualify, for um, the key, I had to spend £20, so I got a New Emo's outfit. <laughs> it's super cute. This is a Cinderella themed one by, uh, so there's di like different designers for different like New Emo's costumes I found out as well. It's called, uh, this one is from Ashley Eckstein. And it's got her, her, him, sorry and uh, it's got the artist's autograph on the back as well. Super cute. I haven't actually done my video for my new emos yet. That is how, like, how many hauls I've done. I've just been so busy. I've opened them and I was going to do a video, but I've just had a, haven't had the time to. So these are my new emos so far. They kind of stick together because they've got magnets inside. So I've got my Daisy in the Rapunzel cosplay costume. Isn't she cute? <laughs> so I'm thinking of putting Cinderella on Daisy as well. She's my go-to girl for my girly girly costumes if I get them. I've got my Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. I haven't done a photo shoot with him yet because I was going to do like a really cute matchy matchy photo shoot with him because he's got the same spirit jersey, rose gold one that I have, which was my very first spirit jersey and the cute lounge fly bag as well. So I need to do one. I just haven't had the time. And I've also got Piglet. Oh, he got dust on him already. <laughs> Got little piglet and he, i gave him a little spirit jersey with london on the back so i've just got the one outfit for my daisy that would be really cute i'm looking forward to putting the headband on her as well because at the moment she has a cute little hat but i'm wondering how the headbands work so yeah were my new emos and that was literally my haul for the princess key 
Now, I've got two boxes from Double Box Toys. One of them is going to be the other mystery box I um, told you about this morning that it was on the way. And the other one, I'm guessing it's going to be one of the bags I ordered. My first Daniel Nicole bag. Let's do the mystery box first because this morning I told you I've got two of the mystery boxes from this round because it had so many rails in them. And I, in the first box I've got this morning, I've got a scar, which is a great bag, but it doesn't really fit into my collection because I don't really collect villains. So that I've decided I don't um, think I'm going to keep. So I'm going to be trading that one. And this is my second mystery box. Let's see if there's going to be something I like. Hopefully it's not going to be another scar. Oh, that will be that will be sad. I don't know what it is. It's got black stripes. I've just seen it. Oh my god. This one, I am going to keep. It's going to be my first stitch bag. I don't have any stitch bags and... Oh, it's so cute. Better result than this morning. It's the Experiment 66 Stitch Spaceship one. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Is it a placement backpack? I don't have any um, stitch backpacks. And this is going to be my very first one. Oh my goodness. That is a mystery box success. Look at my placement, it's so cute. Little stitches. That's the side. And the back. <gasps> I am in awe. Oh wow. Thank you so much, Double Box Toys. So I'm glad I got two mystery boxes now because one was a fail and one is a definite success. <gasps> Oh, it's so cute. I love it. This is why I get addicted to um, mystery boxes, basically. That's the inside linings. Like a black background with white polka dots. Isn't this going to be so cute as an everyday bag? I love it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. I love it. Disney Lounge Fly and Metal Plaque. Thank you. So I've got two mystery boxes from this round. One scar. I'm going to be trading. And the spaceship. Space Stitch. I don't know what the exact name is. Experiment 66 Spaceship. Space Stitch. I'll search for the exact name of this bag and let you know, but I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love that one. Right, last box. So how many items did I get just today? I can't even count, like, literally. Tell me off, scold me in the comments below if I do like another haul like this in May. Oh God. I need to control myself. Like, I'm pretty sure, it, I can't recall any other orders other than my Daniel Nicole order. So I'm guessing it's that one. But if it's something else, then I'm still waiting for the Daniel Nicole. <laughs> right. Oh, I can't get it open. Help. Uh, I've literally just come home, so I don't have my scissors with me. Let's try. If I can do it with my hands, then that'll be great. I'm 
still so happy with this one. I'll put it right there. My mystery box pool. I love it. Right. This is not a mystery box. This is an order I actually ordered from Top of Box Toys. Oh, the post office must love me. Yes, it is that bad. So. Oh, I'm just stacking up all these boxes. So this is also my... I got my first ever Dooney, Dooney and Burke bag this morning. It's my first ever Daniel Nicole bag. Basically... I ordered this and then there was slight controversy uh, um, regarding this bag and uh, the Ariel bag from Daniel Nicole, which was released uh, because it was the Ariel bag was because the artwork was very similar to a small artist called Lissy. I can't remember her full name, sorry, but I'll link her Instagram in the subtitles um, below. So I know there was some controversy regarding that and they're still in talks about that. And the aerial bag has been pulled off the shelves and suddenly it's become a rare bag. Um, I do like to support the small eye artists because I've seen the images and it is very similar basically. So I did message her like on Instagram and I also bought her like a, there's, um, there's like a support page where you can go and um, I donated a few dollars to, for her coffee as well. So um, totally supporting small artists and small shops but there was some controversy and also there was some controversy about this bag as well. But this was after I ordered it because I really love this bag. So I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It's a cute bag, but it's because the image that she used was um, very similar to Steve Thompson's design on his Instagram. He's a, a, who's a Disney illustrator. I'll link his Instagram down below as well. So... I ordered it and then there was all this controversy but it, it was already ordered and like on its way so I didn't know what to do but for now I'm going to keep it but definitely I don't know what's going to like come out of this but hopefully it's resolved well for all parties involved definitely but basically I bought this bag before all the controversy it's my first Daniel Nicole bag and it's Pegasus from Hercules. I have Pegasus on my phone case, but I'm shooting this on my phone, so I can't really show you, but it'll be really cute for them to be together. But I loved the design on there. I love the wings as well and the bow. It was just such a cute little bag that I just ordered it as soon as I saw stock photos of it and then all oh, this controversy came up so I didn't know what to do but I have it in my hands now for now but that is the tag Disney Daniel Nicole and the back looks like that and it has Daniel Nicole on the back as well so I know, I don't know what to do, I don't know how to feel about it, but it's a really cute bag. But just because of the image that is used and all the controversy, I don't, um, there's no resolution yet, but hopefully all is resolved nicely. And that's what it looks like on the inside. And it also has a strap on it. So, for this bag, I don't know what's going on. Uh, if it's going to be pulled off the shelves or if it's going to be released again, I'm not too sure. But I ordered it before all this came up and it was already on its way. So, I didn't know, like, I couldn't cancel it. So, there we have it. I'll, I'll leave it for now to see how I feel about it because it's a really cute bag. But, um, yeah, just because of the image um which was very similar to steve thompson's design from disney i don't know talks are going on within them 
I really don't know what's going on. But if I do have an update, I'll let you know. Hopefully everything is resolved. But that was the controversy bag. And my mystery box. Success. Stitch. My first stitch bag. I've got a lot of first today. My first stitch bag. My first Daniel Nicole. My first Dooney and Burke from this morning. My first ever princess key. Yeah, I'll let you know what that icon is. Oh, is it supposed to be a tower? So, we have all these different icons. No, it's not supposed to be a tower. I really don't know. Oh, I've got it. Right, so next to the bell, it's supposed to be a boat. It's a boat and a sail. So it's Moana. I've got it. I've got it from the icons on the tag. It's a little bit more clearer. I've got it. So it's Moana. That one was Moana. There you go. So I found out before um, I stopped shooting. How fun. Got so many things this month. I really need to calm down guys so hopefully I don't do another big haul like this in May hopefully it'll be in June but who knows what's gonna come I've got a few pre-orders on the way as well <laughs> so um hopefully pre-orders are all paid for in advance so I don't have like a massive haul that I need to pay for this month because I've got bills <laughs> so Hopefully you enjoyed that video today. It's going to be a long one, I guess, because I had the haul this morning in my car and then I came home to all these and I've got so much stuff. Um, so hope you enjoyed all of that. Let me know in the comments what uh, item was your favourite and what you think about this situation with Daniel and Nicole. And I'll see you next time in another video. Have a magical day. I'm completely blank because I've just come home after like an hour and a half drive after a four hour shift and I've just gone numb. Um, so hopefully I can have a little bit of a rest and kind of refresh myself. But have a magical day. I'll see you next time in another Disney video. Bye.